Main Street Elizabethan is launching a new campaign called Pet Friendly Downtown. That's where downtown businesses and restaurants will host your pets while you shop, go to an event, or even just walk around the downtown area. Here to tell us a little bit more about the program is Courtney Bean and Kathy Fraser. And I know that we have a little bit of a two for one here, <laughs> um, but we also have Coda with us, and he is making himself very at home here on very First at Four, home. about to fall off the couch here. But we'll talk about Coda in just a second. Yeah. But first off, we know that Elizabethan, you guys are working on making the downtown a little bit more pet friendly. Tell us about that. We are, yeah. So we actually we have 26 businesses that welcome their pets. Coda is really getting comfortable. <laughs> yes, we love is. it. We love it. Um, so we have 26 businesses that welcome pets. So um, we actually have a little sticker on their on their door. We also have a website to list all those businesses so that you can plan ahead. We want you to come down to downtown Elizabethan, explore downtown, but also Bring your little fur babies. So um, all of our businesses that welcome pets, we want to promote that. And then we also have our pet friendly patios. So tell yeah. us a little bit yeah. about why you wanted to do this. I know that everybody <coughs> is know. so <laughs> familiar with, you know, everything being pet friendly, especially in the summertime. But why this initiative? Yeah, well, <laughs> we love Coda. So we love our pets, just like we love Coda. And I think that that's really important. You know, our dog Rowdy is a huge part of our lives and we're just seeing pets be more a part of families more and more. And so we want everyone to feel welcome, whether it's four paws or two feet, come on downtown. Um, and so we're just, yeah, we're just seeing pets becoming more a part of families and we want to welcome them downtown. And especially again, just like everyday occurrences okay. downtown but also um, at our event. So like first Friday, our Firefly 5K coming up next week is pet friendly because we want you to be able to bring your pets as you explore downtown. And I know that you might not have a pet, but this might make you want one. <laughs> Coda is up for adoption. I know he's um, a little, friendly. he's acting a little crazy he's with the camera, puppy. but I promise you he, earlier he was snuggling with us. <laughs> yeah. So Ms. Kathy, tell us just a little bit about how you can come out and get a pet this Thursday. Yes. Yes, so this Thursday, the Elizabethton Carter County Animal Shelter is going to be open late. So we will be there from 5 until 7 this week. Normal hours are 10 to uh, 4.30, but again, this Thursday, we'll be there from 5 until 7. And tell so, us a little bit about Coda. We know that Coda he's one of the dogs available for adoption. He does not want to sit here on first at four today. Not. Coda was yes. really calm until the camera came on. <laughs> I promise, guys. I really promise. He was so I good for the first Coda. part of the news. Yeah. No, yeah Coda is actually a pet. young, he doesn't look like it. He looks like a big dog, but um, he's young. He's about seven months old. Mm -hmm. um, one of many, many, too many dogs in the shelter right now. We have a lot of dogs, a lot of puppies, cats, kittens everything. Everything's available. So um, we just need people to come out and consider adopting if possible. So. Yes. Well, I know that again, Thursday is a great chance to come out and meet Coda. I promise you he was cuddling with us earlier. Yeah. He was fine up until the time that we said, Coda, it's your time to shine. Working but, with animals. But you know, again, Thursday, if you don't have a pet that you can take to a business, go Thursday and you might be able to find one. But to know what businesses in the downtown area are a part of this pet friendly program, you can look for those pet friendly stickers on their front doors. There are also water bowls at those businesses to help your pets stay cool. And again, the city is asking to to make sure that you bring the bags to clean up after your pet, as well as making sure that they're on a leash. If you visit the Main Street Elizabethan website, uh, you do that, elizabethan.com slash pets, you'll be able to find a whole list of all of those businesses in downtown Elizabethan. Thank you both for joining us today here on Thank First Thank you so much for having Thanks us. Thanks for your patience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>